Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and now the news in details. Why I preferred Yaradua to Falai for presidency in 1993, says Obasanjo. Former President Chief Olusha Gwambasanjo, former Nigerian President Chief Olusha Gwambasanjo on Wednesday unraveled reasons why he supported the candidacy of Alaj Sheu Musa Yaradua over Chief Olu Falai in 1992. During the pre-election preparation for 1993 presidential election, Chief Olu Shagun Basanjo, who recalled this during the launch of the autobiography of a former Oyo State Governor, Otsuba Adebayo Alao Akala's book titled Amazing Grace, said both politicians were his close aides, while he was the military head of state, adding that his preference for Yaradua was inch on his behalf in the Nigerian project. He said in 1992, Sheo Musa Yaradua came to me to request me to intervene on his behalf with Chief Adedibu. It was the usual thing I could do, but for Sheo, I went to the chief, meeting him one-on-one -on -one for the first time, and he received me warmly. And I saw to him, I said to him, I know both Olufalai and Sheo Yaradua very well as they both worked directly under me. Olu as permanent secretary and Sheo as my political number two. They are both very good, but if we are looking at the entire Nigerian picture, it should be Sheo before Olu. If, however, it is purely Yoruba issue, it should be Olu before Sheo. If my information is correct, the you people are considering Nigeria and not just Yoruba land, then I will recommend Sheo. That led to Chief Ade Dubu changing his support in favor of Sheo, Yaradua, in 1992, a passenger revealed. He then congratulated Otumba Alao Alao Akala, who attained the age of 70 years recently, for his contributions in the political circle, saying, You have had the opportunity to serve. You have served to the best of your ability. You have kept as best as you could recollect records of events as you wish to present them. It has become part of history and let others contend. Let others contend. And you are also a maker of history, he had it. In his remark, Otumba Lawakala said it fulfilled his desire to bookmark the landmark narratives of his life how the tragic death of his father in a road accident in 1952 single-handedly threatened to swap his dream of getting to the corpse of his life aspiration. The title of the book, Amazing Grace, is not happenstance. It is the audacity of providence to bring me out of the dungeon of a hopeless tomorrow into a fulfillment of a life that's high today. Celebrate 72 years on earth. My very meaningful and impactful sojourn in the Nigerian police force is also amply documented in the book to tell the story of how grace pushed me to the top. God brought me from junction where many who had great and greater hope of tomorrow fell, lifted me without an iota of hope to my feet and brought me to the junction. Allow Akala posited. He, however, expressed appreciations to Chief Obasanjo who shared the event for forfeiting many of his scheduled to be present at the occasion. Dignitaries from all works of life converge on the trunkard hall of the University of Ibadan to celebrate the former governor. Among the personalities present were Ekiti State Governor Dr. Kayo De Fayemi, Deputy Governor of Oyo State Mr. Ralph Olaniyo, the Alafi of Oyo, Oba Lamidi Adeyemi, the Olubado of Ibado, Oba Saliu Adetunji, for chief of staff under the administration of the former governor, Dr. Saka Balogun, who reviewed the book and others. Wow. You know, Oba Sanjo actually speaks the truth, you know. You know, that is just it. So, guys, what do you think about this? What is your own take? You know, kindly drop your comment. Uh at the comment section below but my question is that let's just refer to when uh, uh olusha gnobasanja was the president of nigeria what has they has it done to nigerian system when he, he actually spent how many years eight good years 
it becoming as the president of Nigeria, what impact has it done? And now he's talking about uh, uh, going against somebody and supporting a uh, show. He was saying that why he preferred Gerard Rua to Falai for presidency in 1993. You know, those days, things were still not okay. Things were, were bad in the, in the first place, you know. But they were the people that actually caused what we are suffering today. All these things that Nigeria youth are suffering today. Our past leaders are the problem that we also have in Nigeria. All these people that were being mentioned, what has they done? What positive impact has they done to Nigerian system? You know, people were saying that, honestly, Baba, you didn't do well at all. It's unfortunate for the people who you you claimed you believe never believe in you and you and your people. The question now is, which Nigerian project are you talking about? Is this this Nigeria of your seam, sir? And that's the questions. Which project is it talking about? Is it the project? Is it the country that are, has already got spoiled that we are talking about? That's just the reality about it. Those people that are coming out today to talk, saying that they supported one and they did not support one, they are the problem that we have in the country. Obasanjo caused a lot of havoc when he was the president of Nigeria. And the same step that uh, President Muhammad Buhari is doing right now. And that's just the reality about it. Even when Jonathan was the president of Nigeria, things were still hard. Things were still expensive. It's just that it wasn't up to this extent that we are, we are experiencing now. So if you ask, what do you think about it? What is your own day? Kindly drop your comment in the comment section below. But also subscribe. We want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We'll say God bless you. And if you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also please don't forget to press the notification button. So that whenever we upload news, you will definitely be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. God bless you for always being there for us at all time. Thank you so much. We all appreciate you. Thank you. Stay safe at this crucial time. It is very important to you, Hemi. Have a lovely day. Bye.